Hello, my name's George Bassett and alongside my fellow director Pete Lavender we run Scarborough Counselling and Psychotherapy Training Institute here in Scarborough. Now Skipti as we call it has been in Scarborough for at least two decades and most recently we've moved to an historic building dated 1865 on Westbourne Grove. We offer modular training courses in Gestalt Psychotherapy, Integrative Psychotherapy, Relational Centred Counselling and Clinical Supervision. We also offer low-cost therapy and on occasion consultancy. I've really enjoyed it as both coming in as a first year and being slightly intimidated I guess by the how the the people who've been here longer talk and think, oh, I don't know what that means. Mm -hmm. But when I relaxed into it, it felt like a sort of language immersion program where you go and live in the country, mm -hmm. and just learning by being around people talking in that language, people using those concepts and sort of learning sort of more by osmosis, I guess. Relax into it and yeah, don't don't feel too tense about learning everything and doing it right that the advantage of four years, the advantage of roll on, roll off is you can really relax into the process and you'll grow at growing pace so yeah. allow yourself to be at the beginning when you're at the beginning and trust that process. Um, I studied uh, with Scarborough and I loved it and then I was uh, I met with George one of the directors and he spoke to me about the ATM and that's the associate teaching membership and I thought yes I can do this and I've done a year's training and I absolutely loved it being a psychotherapist and being raised by a deaf mother and having a baby really really supported me to uh, write the book but the clinical training and the experience of being a psychotherapist and working with people and looking at relationships really helped me focus my mind to get the book done and to get it all finished and to get it published. The new institute building has been carefully renovated and is steeped in history as writer, psychotherapeutic counsellor and administrator Kate Evans tells us more. Well I've always uh, been told that uh, the Sitwells lived somewhere on this corner. So when Pete bought the place and we moved in, I was very, very excited because I thought, oh, this might be where uh, the Sitwells lived. And uh, I'm a bit obsessed by the Sitwell family. Um, so really the first thing that I did was um, I got the deeds from Pete and uh, I realised that the Sitwells didn't live here, <laughs> but an equally um, famous family in terms of Scarborough history lived here. What's interesting is that the Sitwells were an aristocratic family that had fallen on hard times, and the Beforths, who actually lived in this house, was a rising family, so they'd come up from working class roots, and uh, they were kind of meeting in the middle. <laughs> I think George Lord Beforth would be very, very happy uh, to know that a new business has started up on Southcliff and has the potential for bringing uh, some new business and, and uh, new life to this area, which he obviously loved. He, he lived for a long time on the Esplanade, so I think he'd be happy with that. But you don't just come to Scarborough for the history or the training. Scarborough's a wonderful place to study and to stay in. So, check out our website, or give us a call, or even bang in an application.